Hello friends, uh, today we will be looking at the classical variation of the Sicilian defense. Previously we have explored Nidov and Dragon variations. So uh, today in this video we will be looking at the classical variation. Uh, you all are familiar with the Sicilian openings where white starts with e4 and black replies with c5. That's Sicilian defense. Uh, then knight f3 and d6. Uh, d4 is usually played in Sicilian where c takes d4 and knight takes d4. And after this, knight c3 uh, attacking on this uh, undefended pawn, so knight f6. So friends, if I make you recall, in knight of variation, we have seen black plays a6 and in dragon variation, black plays g6. But here in classical variation, black plays knight c6. Yes, yes, black does not play a6, uh, and, but rather develops a piece instead uh, bring his knight out to its most effective square c6. As both black knights are placed classical on f6 and c6, that is why it is called the classical variation. By doing so, black puts a lot of pressure onto the d4 knight and of course in the center as well. Here, uh, bishop B g5 is the most common against the classical variation. This move threatens to double black's pawn if the bishop takes uh, the knight and prevents black from fiancating his dark square bishop. I show you a sample line here. See if black bishop takes f6, then black has to capture either with e, uh, e6 or g6. In both cases, say for example, say here black captures with e6. Uh, in both cases, black's dark square bishop, this one will not be able to come onto g7 as this diagonal is blocked by uh, black's own pawn at uh, f6. So as you see, um, white is threatening on the king side. e6 is the main line preventing double pawns on f file. It also gives center control to the black. c squares uh, f5, e5, d5 and c5 are all controlled by black pawns. So here on this position, queen to d2 is the main line for white here, whereas it is important for black to also control the b5 square. Uh, so a6, uh, which we have seen in Nido variation as well. Uh, I will show you a sample line. Say if you don't play a6 and play bishop to d7 instead, um, D knight, D4 knight can go on to the B5 and increases pressure on to the uh, D6 pawn. So that's why A6. Um, at this position, uh, A4 or castle queen, uh, queen side, uh, two main variations available for white. Most players tend to castle first and see how their opponent is playing before playing F4 which of course is a potent way to uh, combat black spawn structure. So I will show you here uh, f4, if you play f4, so here what, what white is trying to do is to combat uh, and con take control of the squares um, f5, e5 and d5 uh, in this way. f4 makes a lot of sense here, uh, which is why it is very popular these days. Um, another variation which we can see here from white is f3 and g4 uh, attacking onto the king side um, and depending how the game develops say h6 um, you may need to retreat the bishop to f3 clearing the way for uh, g and h uh, file pawns to march forward. Um, so friends to summarize the classical uh, Sicilian uh, to move knight from c6 instead of a6 or g6 as we examined uh, previously. Black's idea here is very simple. 
uh, the bishop will go to d7 this bishop will go to f7 rook will come on to c8 uh, and queen will join either c7 or b6 because at some point white will be castling here so it will be a good idea for white to start generating attack from from the uh, queen side that is all from the classical variation um, it's very easy to play as you don't need to remember all the moves it's very logical all the moves are very logical and you can um, you can just uh, play on your own well so let me know how you find this video and how um, all in general how the sicilian episodes um, you are finding it do subscribe this channel for further tutorials uh, and Press like if you uh, find this video helpful. Thank you very much. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.